Hey everybody, back again. Um, I go back with another review here. Or, you know, like a quick review, like all, all the other ones I got up. Nothing long, nothing too crazy. Uh, I got this Evic VT, made by Joytech. Now, I got this about two weeks ago. I've been using it. Alright, I picked this up to take with me to work. Um, you know, I, I got SX Mini. This thing is super heavy, 118. Oh, it's only 118,650. I wanted something with a lot of battery life. You know, not too expensive. You know, to beat up and throw around. I got this from uh, my local shop here in uh, South Jersey, uh, Modi Cigarettes. If you if you're around there, go check them out. They're awesome. All right, Berlin. If if you're in the Berlin, uh, New Jersey area. All right. So, there's the box, it comes in here, you know, a real nice box, it's got its own place to sit, all the accessories are underneath. Now this is just the, uh, just the battery, uh, the express kit. I didn't get the tank and, and all that stuff, but this is the charger you get. Now I give props to Joytech because I got a couple of these chargers from other things that I've gotten in the past, and these things, these things rock, to be honest. You know, they're actually useful, pretty, pretty sturdy cords good and solid you know I definitely have uh, held on to all these uh, the other thing you get a uh, silicone cover right in the package you know it is what it is okay so I got the black with the red stripes version all right now this has got a 5,000 milliamp hour battery okay um, goes up to 60 watts, alright, for temperature, uh, I mean, sorry, for, you know, regular wattage mode, uh, it also has temperature control for titanium and nickel wires, and it actually has it separate, I'll show you that in a few minutes, alright, I'll start at the top, got 510 connector, it is spring-loaded down in there, uh, everything has screwed down tight, now the connector is actually raised ever so slightly, I'll show you that when I get a tank on top. So nothing actually sits, you know, tight to the top, but you know, it, it's spring loaded, so everything's nice and tight. It it it's fine. I haven't had a problem. Now you got your wheel here. All right, sorry, I should have wiped this thing off. Now the little wheel at the top is actually how you adjust your wattage and uh, move it all around. All right, you see, wattage up, wattage down. And it also controls the temperature when you're in temperature mode. All right, so we'll go down to this side. You've already seen, you got your fire button. All right, and your display. And this thing's got everything right there for you. Wattage, your uh, output voltage, uh, resistance, and your battery bar. Okay, and I'll show you how this all works uh, when we get around to it. All right, this side's nothing. This side is nothing. All right, this side you have your micro USB charger. All right, the bottom. Got your venting, something happens with the battery, so you go 5,000 milliamp hour, and that is your charge rate, 5 volts, 1 amp. Alright, okay, got your Joytech logo, Evic VT. Now they also come in uh, a white with blue stripe, and they call it, I think they're calling it racing red, but it, it's an orange, it's orange with a black stripe. Uh, that's the color I see anyway. As far as I know, I don't have any... Uh, color problems with my eyes now I'm sure you can already tell fingerprint magnet like crazy you know but that's where this this comes in handy you stick it in here don't got to worry about it all right so let's take a look at the uh, operation now I already showed you power up power down okay and your fire button now this fire button to be honest it's uh, you know it's a little clicky I'm sure you can hear it but uh, it's kind of mushy at the same time and it doesn't have a very long throw, and it's actually gotten stuck on me a few times. You know, I'll be firing and let go, and it's and it's still firing. So that that kind of sucks. You know, that's a, that's a little bit of a con. But uh, as far as that, everything else has been okay. Okay, so to power it off, five click, five clicks to go back on. All right, now three clicks take you into the menu. All right. Now what you could do is you could control it with this top piece. So if you turn it to the right, it'll change whatever you have selected. So it's temperature for nickel. See temp ni. And again, temp 
TI for titanium and back into uh, wattage mode. Now, hit it again, it takes us down to the battery. Go to the right, puff counter, go to the right. This is a time vaping, uh, time you have the button pressed down, and back to the battery. Okay, so that's it for that. So if we switch into temp mode, all right, and then hit left, this is how you now adjust your, your power. Okay, so then hit to the left again, brings it down to your resistance. All right, and if you print it to the right, it'll unlock your resistance. Hit it, hit it again. Once you have your atomizer on there, and it'll lock your resistance. Now, I'll put a temperature coil on here, and we'll see that a little bit better. Okay, let's go back up to the top, and to the right. And same op functions for titanium, and back to power. All right, so let's crank this guy up to about 25 watts. 26 watts, that works. All right, so in here I just have a dual cool canthal build. Screw this guy on. All right, now this tank is probably not the best example, but uh, can you see there how it's not sitting all the way flat? All right, it's going to be raised up just a little bit. Let's see on this side, you can see. There you can see, just a little bit there. Okay, all right. All right, so you can see what it does when you're firing. Just gives you a little counter and back to your voltage. So, 0.42 ohms, 3.31 volts being output to the atomizer. And if we raise raise that, you'll see the voltage go up. All right, same thing going down. So, it goes pretty quick, but that's uh, you know that's about as fast as it's going to go. All right, no round robin. Stops at one watt goes all the way to 60 watts. Uh, do, do, do. 60, all right. Let's go back down. And the actual technical name for this is Cool Black. Cool Black. So I just remember that. Okay. So that's the basics of wattage. Not a whole lot going on. All right. You got your up, down, all your information displayed on the screen. One, two, three. Put you in. Go to the left. All right. Battery. Puff. Time. And that's it. Okay, so let's switch over to a nickel build. Now, I don't have a titanium build, but they uh, effectively function the same, pretty much the same exact way. So, all right, I got a Kanger 0 0.1. Let's see, I think it's 0.15 is the resistance. Yeah, 0.15 ohms. All right, nickel uh, NI200 coil head. Okay, so... One, two, three. Three clicks into the menu. Uh, I'm sorry. To the right. To the right. Now we're in temp for nickel. Okay. Now, if I go to the left, all right, brings us down to power. Now, I typically just leave this all the way at 60 watts. All right. And in power mode, you could go from 30 to 60. Okay. That's it. Now, you go all the way up, you let go, hit it again, it'll round itself back down to 30. Okay? Because you can't go to the other. Once you turn it to the left, it's going to bring it down to the atomizer. All right, so we'll bring it all the way back up to 60. And if you're just holding it, it'll stop itself at 60. And you'd have to let go, hit it again, drop you to 30. Okay, so hit it to the left. Now it brings us down to the atomizer. Now, this is the important part. So once you stick it on and it, it gets a good read here, all right, you want to go down to the to the resistance so it's blinking. Click it to the right. Oh, must have did it too slow. All right, left, left. All right, click it to the right. Now that's going to lock. Hit the fire button, sets all that in. Now it's going to lock your resistance. All right, now that's important. You know, keeps it a little more consistent. So you know, as you're you're using it and the temperature. Uh, hits the coil, 
the resistance will, if you don't have that locked in, it has a potential to creep up the resistance and change up the consistency. Now this one's nice for temperature control, because as far as I know, I, don't, uh, the, I have DNA 40s and I have the SX Mini. Uh, you have to like go through the menu and it's, you know, not simple to address the uh, temperature. But for this one, it's real nice. You get the temperature control right there by 10 degree change each time you hit it. Okay, and I've been generally um, between 400 and 430, uh, depending on the vape. Okay, so we'll click this. You can see how see it in action. You see it bringing down the wattage, temperature protect, protection, protection. So it, it's been working good. All right, I've had no problems. To be honest, I'm not a really a big fan of, of uh, nickel and temperature control and all that stuff. I, I think it's a good idea. I'm not entirely too sure they got it executed uh, as good as it can be. I, I don't know. I just haven't, maybe I haven't perfected it. Or if you guys out there have any, any ideas or any tips on what you think, you know, it vapes well, let me know. Uh, I'm open to anything. Okay, so I'm going to take this back into um, wattage mode. Okay, there we go. So that's pretty much it. All right, all in all, I, I really like it. Uh, with this setup here, with about 0.4 uh, to a 0.5, that's where all my builds are, uh, I got about a day and a half of heavy usage. Uh, probably like a 14 work hour shift and another four or five hours um, at home, you know, wake up in the morning and use it for another six, seven hours. Um, you know, honestly, I haven't really drained it all the way down yet. I got into about, uh, like a third left, maybe quarter left and then, you know, charge it back up. So the battery life's been great. Uh, it's been working out a problem. The only issue, like I said, I had was the button sticks every now and again. All right. So be aware of that if, if that happens to you, uh, the button stick and this fingerprint magnet, but Lo and behold, they have a fix for that right in the silicone. I mean, that's where, that's where mine stays. All right, let's have a vape and get out of here. See you later.